Ты несчастна. Ты просишь участия. Don't bother God with your prayers and petitions. Бога просьбами ты не гневи. I love you more than love than happiness. Я люблю тебя больше счастья. I love you more than love. Я люблю тебя больше любви. Thank you. In Russia, confusion and diffusion. Reputations like rubles are falling. But in Oklahoma are falling only autumn leaves. No bands playing, no red carpet. With requiem like rustling of dead leaves. The most beloved Communist of capitalists landed in Tulsa like an unexpected yesterday. <coughs> From the seat rises the Indian chief who hung his talisman, the coyote's tooth, in his Porsche. And he applauds that white man who offered him the peace pipe. Groaning, the big oil chiefs rise, eyeing their guest as if he had risen from the dead, and their wives, exhausted by aerobics, weep with compassion, because their gorby was Hard by that Russia. Such bitter honey to be understood better by the foreigners. His own people did not forgive him even one slip. But who is left in Russia now? Nobody. The rest of the world is kinder to Russians than Russia itself. He was the first who with his peasant's hands tore off his head the crown of the Red Tsar. He put his palms on the Afghan flames. He pulled Sakharov through the bars of exile and the Berlin Wall immediately collapsed when Gorbachev very wisely looked the other way. Wow. He saved from the another Hiroshima and another Gulag all of us and our grandchildren. But he became the first victim of his own gift to us the victim of the freedom that people did not deserve. And he, creator of freedom, trembled. He was trapped in his fear as in a web, and his country, like a carpet, was pulled out from underneath him by professional carpet buggers. He, the map maker of the next century, as a ghost become unemployed. In the times when everybody began to grab everything. In the times of the great grab. He's all alone, like all the world's heroes. He was broken by ingratitude. He aged. 
sometimes the contours of Africa on his forehead swell when he is insulted again and again by the mob. But even in the African jungles, some lips, mouth, his words, glasnost, Perestroika. He flies everywhere, but for him all countries are islands of exile. Only God will judge whether he was right or wrong. He is surrounded by stool pigeons and bodyguards. He could not even pray in church alone. Everywhere stretch limos like curses, mercilessly wait for him and swallow him. And police cars like well-fed watchdogs snarling harrow with their black noses rattling trash cans. Wow. And the force of the night, the force of November, I wrote a poem which I could not write, not to write. When Isaac Rabin was killed. And I... I've sent immediately this poem, which was translated by my friends into English. I've sent to Idiota Kronot, it's the most powerful Israeli newspaper that was, was published immediately. I said in Russia, which was published immediately, and I said in the New York Times, and I got answer because the rabbi was when someone was in vacations, came after two days, and I got incredible answer. I'm sorry, it's too late to publish because event is over. <laughs> And, you know, this is a cynical answer, which was impossible to imagine in the times when Harrison Salisbury was in charge of New York Times, or other great Americans who were reading New York Times. Unfortunately, it's typical. It's a, it's a kind of this people, there is a generation of TV. They think that poetry is nothing important. And they, I, they think, if they don't publish today something, they think it's over. But I, you know, Jesus Christ was crucified many years ago, I was not compared. But I don't think this event is over, because they crucified him each day in many countries, in Russia, in Israel, in America, in all countries of the world, he's crucified again. And again, I just think that stinks. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. The soldier who couldn't sing. The Sakrabin couldn't sing. When he sang, probably for the first time, afterwards he was killed. It was song of peace. Bullets have no nationality. Where is the end of assassinations in the world? The dusty way of an old soldier is finished by his old leaden acquaintance. <laughs>